Hopes and dreams of a district. This look at the 102 acres the Cape Penn Lopen School District wants to develop. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 6. We begin tonight with a referendum of the expansion and tight tax hikes that could come with that project. At a recent school board meeting, the district voted unanimously to hold a referendum that will ask taxpayers to absorb the $80 million to build a new district office and then some. As Coast TV's Tori Seagraves reports, it's a price that not everyone is willing to pay. Bud Morgan has lived in Lewis with his young son for six years. As a father, Morgan understands the importance of education, but says he moved to Delaware to avoid high taxes. Filling up the area with administration buildings and hiking the taxes up every couple of years to keep it up might not be the best way to do it. The district says the 102 acres of property, a new district office, a transportation facility, indoor pool, and current expenses will add as much as about $150 a year to an average home. But according to the superintendent of the Cape Henlopen School District, these upgrades are needed to keep up with the major growth in the area. Since 2018, we have 950 more students in the district, almost 1,000 more students, and we've hired over 100 additional staff members during that time period. Um, so that is the main reason. We, you know, we have student needs, we have staff needs, we're growing. Today I spoke with locals, some of which said senior citizens shouldn't have to bear the tax increase as they no longer have anyone in the school system. A lot of people feel that many are coming here to retire without any students, and that may be the case, but many are coming here um, with children and with more than one child. Fulton says three community meetings will be held prior to the referendum for the public to have questions answered about the projects. The referendum that will determine whether or not these property tax increases will happen is scheduled for Tuesday, March 26th. I'm Tori Seagraves in Lewis, Coast TV News. And this brings us right into our Coast TV poll. We want to know which areas of education should receive top priority in funding taxes or funding schools through taxes. Let's take a look at the results. The results from last hour specifically if we see here still salaries a super large majority here are saying all that money should go at least the top priority should go to paying our teachers more. And if you look there are other options on the board classroom resources infrastructure technology. Now if you haven't voted if you would like to vote you can do that go to coasttv.com or use the Coast TV mobile app.